Hello, 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 hello. So um, this is just a recorded one um, this week um, for the astrology readings. And this is for the 22nd through to the 28th of April, 2024. Um, I'm going to be doing the water signs first, then the earth signs, then the fire signs, and then finishing off with the air signs. So the order will be uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancerians, then the earth signs, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, then the fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries, and then um, air signs, which is Aquarius, Gemini and Libra. Okay, so that's, I'm rotating them each time. And so, yeah, so just so that nobody's ever kind of always last. Okay, so I'm doing it that way. So um, I'm sorry I didn't do the astrology readings last week. Well, I did do them. I just did a recorded one of just my hands. Um, but it looks so bad on my phone. It just looks so bad. So, um, so I am sorry. But if anybody does really want it, the recording, I'm glad I'll be happy to send it over to you um, and you can have it. But I'm not going to upload it to uh, my YouTube. Okay, so hope everyone's had that had a wonderful week. I hope everybody is in good spirits. I know that things are difficult at the moment and it feels as if nothing's changing. It feels as if everything seems to be very heavy around when you watch the news or you watch things. It's like, but the, it is literally, it's like a breaking point mode. It has to break. Whatever is going on in every area has to break soon because the truth is just bursting to get out. That is how it's going. It's just bursting to get out. So just hang on in there. OK, and that's in every area of this life. OK. So um, I just wanted to say thank you to my lovely Patreons. OK, so it's coming up, up along the bottom there the my patreons the newest members are chrissy jessica alex elsie and a big thank you to my long-standing um patreons as well um so i really do appreciate you i know it says it there but i really do every single one thank you so much gracie sarah christina shannon claire greg Christine, Melissa, Julie, Vera, Renee, Issa, Kelly, Vaughn, Terry, Sherry, Stephanie, Marejo, Linda, Julie, another Julie, Deb and Anita, Shannon, Phil, Doreen, Devon, Elizabeth. So thank you, everybody. Um, really, um, if you guys wanted to be um, wanted to support myself um, it is um, you can just go it's joining as little as 88 pence a month each tier okay it's like a membership so each tier has um, a little bit extra and a little bit extra a little bit extra so it goes from one dollar eleven <clears throat> a month that's the first tier um, then it goes up to five dollars fifty five, um, eleven dollars eleven, um, twenty two dollars twenty two, um, and the thirty three thirty three, forty four forty four, seventy seven seventy seven. Okay, so the seventy seven seventy seven is um, you get the most from that, which is one hour reading every week. So we meet up once a week and we do a reading. Um, you also get um, you also get a, um, a mystery gift sent to you. You also get um, access to all of my workshops and classes and all of that. Um, you, you then also get um, the um, access to um, the monthly meetup. So it's difficult to remember all the tiers and everything you get. Uh, whereas the uh, $1.11, you get the access to that monthly meetup. 
okay so you know they're all is it all just um goes in stages so um also greg has a patreon as well um so for greg's it is patreon.com forward slash in 5d and for myself it's in uh, patreon.com forward slash psychic alley okay so let's get started shall we um here we go so we're going to start off with the water signs so it will be scorpio first okay so let me write down okay so scorpios i'm going to be working with the inner child cards okay they're all fairy tales they're just beautiful cards i'm just using the major arcana cards from the deck okay but if anyone's interested in this deck this is the deck i'm going to be using inner child excuse them it's just so bashed up okay um but it comes with a lovely workbook and this workbook um, it's got all sorts in it, the three little pigs, you know, so it gives you the story, the background of the story. It then says when a, when this card appears in your reading, okay, but it also can give you um, little things um, to do, exercises to do um, to help you, okay. So, you know, I highly recommend, okay. So we're going to be doing that, see what, see what um, major arcana card best suits that week for you um and also um some emotional cards okay so i'm um, going to be doing that so scorpios now i like to record it as well for that's it yeah so um this is scorpio this is the 22nd to the 28th of april 2024 okay so the inner child card that i've got for you guys let's have a look they're very big cards so i always shuffle them like that these ones and my daughter is scorpio and she's really really suffering at the moment bless her she's um she's 30 what is she 32 weeks or 30 i can't remember she, i think she's 30 34 weeks i don't know she's getting on to the end of her pregnancy and she is in so much pain with her back so she's got um lost and loss probably um it's all in our family all the females in our family and so there's no reason why she hasn't got it unfortunately it's hereditary and so i just wanted to ask if anybody is you know a healer or can send some love out to my daughter Rihanna and please can you okay so this is Scorpio okay we've got the the guardian angel in fact look um she's there's children here in this um actual card so isn't it beautiful so this is the guardian angel okay so what would this be be 14 usually the temperance isn't it i think um i may have to get the book out for that i think it's the temperance um yeah so the temperance is all about it's about balance it's about trying to find the right balance of work rest and play um you know needing to be yeah here we go um yeah needing to be in that kind of state of um centeredness you know like um not worrying about any e either way you know it's like not getting too stressed about that not getting too stressed about that trying to be kind of relaxed as possible it's not always easy though is it to be that um relaxed okay it really isn't so yeah i just need if you can just bear with me guys i'm just going to have a look and um because i think it's interesting to find out i think the 14 is usually the temperance yeah it is temperance yes yeah, so the temperance so it's balance it you know and looking at that card i i feel as if it's to do with teaching and um she does home educate as well so um are you guys thinking of home educating is there an issue around education in general um do you have children that you 
you kind of worry about or is there something going on you know maybe you've heard things and you're worried about the education system maybe for your family maybe for you know um years to come maybe you've kind of like looked at things and thought this system is not right um it could well be that um, there's a lot of proud energy there if you have a look um she looks very proud okay so that's a grandparent energy okay or it can be a mother energy mother nurturing um so yeah that's all about learning okay so let's have a look and see what um the cards say okay scorpio scorpios Okay, I'm seeing juggling money. So money may be a little bit tight this week. It may be feeling as if everything's kind of coming in at you um, and there's a lot of pressure. But we do have the Six of Wands. Um, now, the Six of Wands is indicating that there will be public acclaim, there will be triumph, there will be recognition and reward for what you're doing. So it's like there's going to be some really good vibes, really good news coming up for you. Um, something that is unexpected and something that will kind of like, you know, where everybody kind of makes a fuss over you or makes you feel loved and makes you feel special. Um, there has been a lot of people who are gossiping um, and you just don't want to be around it. It's like, oh, no. So that's not something that I want. OK, so look out for that. Try and steer yourself into people who bring you joy and happiness and light hearted energy rather than that gossipy energy. It's really important for you to be balanced. OK, and that's where we come back to the, the temperance card again. OK, we've also got a bit of boredom. So, you know, being bored doesn't mean to say you're not busy. I mean, you know, you could be very, very busy, but bored because you're you're basically doing things that um, are things you have to do, not things you want to do, which can create the boredom. Um, so I feel look out for kind of different projects. Look out for something that you can do that is going to relax you something that is going to kind of center you and help you to you know live uh live the best life possible for you um i can see learning and education again i mean this is my education card every time so if you've been watching me um do my cards then you know um yeah this is learning concentration on information okay um and that is also the learning card and education as well you can see in this here so um, there is somebody who you're not talking to. It feels as if you've kind of like just pulled away a bit and said, no, I, I've got nothing to say. I'm done. Um, and I do feel that this is because of that. You know, when somebody all they do is talk about other people, all they do is enjoy moaning about this or enjoy moaning about that. OK, they're not living in that heightened energy. OK, of um, just feeling the best out of situations. OK, so it's going to be a busy week, OK, for people being around you. Um, I feel that, you know, if you kind of just if you're st sitting there and you're listening to this at the beginning of the week, I'm going to say to you, be careful what you organize at the end of the week, because you're going to go into a feeling of why did I organize all of this? I actually just wanted to slow down and now here I am speeding up. So be careful not to maybe organize, you know, get togethers or like crowds, that sort of thing. Um, just try and be as balanced as possible. OK, so, yeah, I feel that is the kind of thing that's going on um, is, um, you know, concentrating on your energy for sure. OK, concentrate on your energy. So let's have a look and see what emotions, emotional lessons, what emotional lessons are you going to learn this week? That card just flew out. So we're going to do that one. OK, it's about judgment. OK, so be careful not to judge other people, because in the end, you're ending up judging yourself because um, maybe what you're doing is analysing 
maybe um, some negative traits in other people. But the reason why we're calling that out is because maybe it's a lesson that we have to learn. Maybe we have to learn about tolerance. Maybe we have to learn that we've made an instant judgment about this person, a particular person. And actually, there are other excuses. There are other things going on in that person's life that you didn't quite um, analyze or understand. OK, so there you go. That is your reading, Scorpio. I hope you enjoy it. And um, we're going. OK, so here we go with Pisces. Um, so Pisces, the 22nd through to the 28th of April, 2024. OK, so let's start off with the emotional card to start with. So let's have a little look. What's the emotional lesson um, that we're learning in this week? OK, so this is me, my mum. We're both Pisces and any Pisces out there who's watching. OK. So just want to make it clear that um, if you're watching this and say you're not a Pisces, um, there will be a message in there for you. OK, in every single video, every single um, sign, there will be a message in there. OK, just so you know, they do it deliberately, my guides. So. OK, so the lesson for Pisces is peace. OK, OK, it's creating peace, a peaceful environment. OK, um, now that includes kind of the chi energy. So this is about clutter. And if you could see my table, you'd understand clutter. OK, so sometimes less is more. OK, and there is a need to kind of just kind of um, calm yourself um, with kind of like, you know, just uh, um, having to, I don't know, rush about, okay, maybe it's time to do, you know, organize less things outside of the home, and stay back in your home and organize your home, because I feel as if there needs to be a space that is just for you, somewhere that you can relax and uh, be at one, okay, so let's have a look and see what else they want to say about Pisces. Okay, look out for people connected to your past. Okay, I feel as if there is um, coming back into your life people that you've known before um, there could be references being made linking to people from your past um, like ex-partners or ex-friends or family members that have been estranged there's going to be wording and talk about that now partly I'm seeing a need to kind of like say enough is enough I, I, I've had enough of that I don't want that in my future and this is a, a case of standing your ground standing up for yourself don't be surprised if you're not feeling kind of that agitation okay when you know th these these people's names maybe are um spoken it's like you may feel an absolute 100 percent urge not to have them near you okay and that, that listen to that voice inside you because that voice is telling you something um, the emotional isolation that sometimes that then brings and that could be linked with with guilt, you know, perhaps you feel guilty for not allowing people back into your home. Perhaps you feel as if you're being judgmental um, to other people. Um, all of that um, is all linking to the lesson that you're having to learn and, you know, why you're going through what you're going through. OK, so find out what the lesson is, understand it, forgive yourself and move forward. OK, again. Find that peace. OK, it's important. So by the middle of the week, the middle of the week, I'm seeing a new opportunity that has got the ability to bring in more money. OK, so these are lovely. This is the, it's time to be selfish. OK, card, it's time to be selfish. And then you've got the ace of pentacles. You've got the ten of pentacles. So these two is a new opportunity to do with work, money, work, finances, um, maybe a project, 
maybe something self-employed, maybe you're um, thinking of selling something and there's the extra money. OK, you've got the Ten of Pentacles, which is really good finances, really good opportunities, OK, to do with work. So this could be for some people, it could be promotion. Uh, for other people, it could just be, and you know, you've created an opportunity, or you've got a really idea of where to take your business. You know, what to do differently. Maybe you're thinking of branching out, okay, with your business ideas, and it's like, well, you know, I know I could do that, okay. So that, and that is basically saying it's a good, it's a good time to do it. Thumbs up from Spirit World. Okay, it's time also to have that perfection energy about you. So, you know, try and think think of yourself as, you know, making it happen. And also it's like, it's gonna be my best ever um, work, okay? I, I will not be just, um, you know, it will, it will just do, it won't be like that. It will be my best work, okay? It feels like you will disrupt your your life in order to make it right, okay? Um, and so that's okay, but make sure it's um, it's not going to cause too much stress, okay? So yeah, they're saying keep your feet grounded, um, and um, you know face this opportunity. It's exciting, um, but it shouldn't cause arguments and it shouldn't cause too much disruption, okay? And nobody should feel as if they're walking on eggshells around you and around the situation um, because really um, that isn't the aim. That will just bring it negative vibrational energy, okay? So be aware of that, okay? So what is your inner child saying to you this week, okay? Let's have a look. The inner child is saying sleeping beauty. OK, so that's very apt with the peace card, isn't it? OK, so you have the peace card and then you have the sleeping beauty. OK, so I want to take this literally for you and say, are you getting enough sleep? You know, the answer to that for me is is has been no, but it's getting the opposite. It's like I'm having more sleep ever. Um, so what about you? Are you getting enough sleep? Uh, is it quality sleep? You know, um, are you feeling refreshed after a sleep or is there still something um, that is making you feel tired the next day? OK, so, um, yeah, sometimes it's about our dreams. Look out for your dreams because they're going to be um, very vivid and uh, they're going to be telling you something. For sure. OK. So thank you. And um, that is for um, OK, so this is for our lovely Cancerians. And um, this is my daughter, Meggie. Um, so this is for the 22nd through to the 28th of April 2024. OK, let's have a look and see what they want to tell cancerians for this coming week I'm just going to tune in now okay so we've got the looking after card the wrapping yourself up in cotton wool um so have you been actually looking after yourself or are you kind of burning the candle at both ends? Um, are you feeling refreshed um, after sleeping or not? Um, I can see that um, you might be looking after so some people um, because obviously there's there's more than uh, one cancer in watching this. So I'm going to say, um, you know, maybe you're having to look after another person. Maybe your nurturing skills are needed at this time. Maybe whoever you are nurturing. Um, is needing extra care more than usual. Um, if you have children, are they kind of pushing the boundaries a little bit? Okay, is it getting hard work? If so, it just means that maybe just um, sometimes in life, um, we need to um, clear the energy from our family member, okay, because you don't know who they're or it is brushing against, for instance, um, if you've got somebody who is um, 
you know, having a bad day and your aura brushes next to their aura, you can actually feel it. You can feel the fact that you're, you, you was feeling really happy one minute and now you've been in the company or around the other person and you're now feeling agitated. Well, it's the same thing. Kids feel the same way. Um, so if you can just visualize that golden light coming down um, they can be playing, they could be watching TV if it's your partner, whoever it is, um, just to visualize what if when they're busy, just visualize the golden light and spin it around them. So they're in the middle of like a tornado. OK, and spin it fast and fast and fast. It then takes out everything that's negative around um, them is taken out and up. OK, and what that does is it clears them. You will find that they are not so naughty. Um, you'll find that they are more relaxed and more happy and less agitated. So and I know that sounds crazy to people who don't believe in this sort of thing, but try it. Um, you may be surprised. OK, um, I feel as if there is some work or being done in the home or there needs to be. It's like I'm looking at things that I want done. I want that finished. I want that finished. I want to, you know, and sometimes I feel it's like I wish I knew how to do these things, because if I knew how to do these things, I wouldn't have to wait for other people. I could just get on with it. So I feel as if I'm a bit agitated. OK, as well, when I tune in to Cancerian's energy emotionally I feel as if I've had to let go of something or, or someone I've had to say well enough is enough I'm done with that um, that can be a feeling that can be an issue that can be something that um, has needed to um, be let 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 lie okay so I'll show you the card you've got the eight of cups in the cosmic deck and you can see he's looking at one cup which is left standing up um, another one there, which is OK. It's not toppled over yet, but it's OK. But um, he's had to kind of like there's a lot of disappointment there. There's a lot of bad feeling there. But um, he's trying to concentrate on that hope. He's trying to concentrate on that one cup. Um, and so, yeah, so it's, it's like trying to be as positive as you possibly can be in amongst all the chaos that has been going on around you. OK, so let's see what's happening further in the week. OK, so you have um, two twos. OK, now twos, aces, we go back. Aces are the beginning of beginning of uh, whatever the sign is. So ace of cups is beginning of love, uh, uh, love or emotion. Ace of wands is beginning of ambition. Ace of pentacles is beginning of money. Well, here you've got the next stage on, which is after you've had the brilliant idea of pentacles which is money this is the next stage which is training stepping forward and training or learning new skills trying something out that's maybe a bit different okay and this could be you or it could be somebody close to you but this is a good thing and um, sometimes we have to push ourselves out of our comfort zone a bit in order to achieve more than we thought we could this is going to be that time exactly and again you've got the two of wands which is to do with ambition ace is like i'm bored i want to change two is the planning making something happen okay so watch out for that you know is there something that you um have wanted to do for a long time um maybe a project or maybe something that you know you're gifted at or want to do okay so I feel that there's going to be um, a connection, a reconnection to do with love life or to do with, you know, some sort of love matter. OK, so for obviously some, it may be to do with love life um, and trying to understand and connect, reconnect with um, a, um, a loved one or, or sometimes, sorry, a partner. Uh, but sometimes it can be a family member or a friend. And that's reconnecting with them. So there seems to be a bigger bond that's coming up um, and these new beginnings and stepping forward with these new beginnings or opportunities. Um, so there's a partnership energy as well around you um, in the middle of this next week. Now, the end of the week, end of the week, you've got personal feeling of 
I've done it. Um, it's like, woo, look at me, I did it. Um, so this is doing something that you didn't think you could ever do. Okay, you're surprising yourself here. It's like, wow, I, I'm, I'm so pleased. Um, now you've got that, there's like a, a little voice on your shoulder that says, well done, we did good. And then you've got on the other shoulder, it's going, you could have done better. What'd you do that for? You know, <laughs> so um, there seems to be some sort of um, other kind of voice that is kind of maybe if you listen to that, it could bring you down. But they're saying, don't, don't listen to that voice. That, that voice is negative. We, we just need to switch over to the positive voice. Okay, we've also got my education cards. This is about education, learning, development. Okay, so watch out for that. Um, is there somebody in your life who is in education or further education? And um, maybe there is, is good news. Okay, so we've got the personal feeling of happiness, three of wands, which is I did it. Um, along with education, maybe there's something that you didn't want to hear as well. There's kind of a little bit of nagging going on, or maybe you're trying to nag someone else as well. Maybe there's that. <laughs> okay, so um, there you go. Oh, we didn't do the other card, so let's have a look at that. So the inner child cards for Cancerians. Okay, oh lovely, the earth child, okay. So there are lots of children, okay. Children and teenagers now who have been born and they're different. They are not the same as other children, you may have noticed, okay. I've got my grandson who is, um, he, I, he's either got Tourette's or he's just, he's, he's very different. Um, he annoyed the family. I saw all my grandchildren today, which I thoroughly loved, uh, all my grandchildren. Um, so I felt the, the luckiest lady on the planet, I felt. Um, but um, yes, yeah, so, but my grandson there is making noises with a can of Coke, you know, squashed can of Coke, and he's making noises that sound like a um a racing car honestly he's 16 but um yeah there's something different about these children and not just their funny funny noises they view the world differently they view the earth differently they they are you know unique at the way that they look at things so um yeah they are this you know you can't deal with them the same way as you perhaps dealt with you know other children that are of a different uh, age okay or when you was growing up it's they're different Okay, what's the emotional? Okay, the emotional card here. This one. There's a lesson. It's to do with inspiration. Inspiring yourself to maybe try different things, do different things. Um, and maybe this is in inspiring maybe um, a, a child as well, or a childlike adult maybe um, to be inspired to try different things. Maybe you and your partner are inspiring each other. Um, maybe that is what's going on. But uh, anyway, it's good. Good, I see that. Um, so there you go. That's what I see for Cancerians. Okay. So this is uh, Taurus now. We're going to do Earth signs. So we're going to do Taurus, then Virgo, then Capricorn. And then uh, fire signs, which is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and we'll finish with the air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, and then Libra. Okay, so uh, let's start off with the emotions. What emotional energy is going on this week for Taurus? Let's have a look. What are their relationships happening? What's going on with the relationships? Okay, so, hmm, interesting. So um, now I'm going to show this card because it's going to make more sense, okay? So um, Taurus, so if you are just listening to this, I think you need to kind of like look at the video. Um, this card shows somebody who is inside of a cage. They're inside of a cage with someone else. There's another person who's opening the door of that cage and someone is stepping out. 
ignore the genders um, it just means somebody is stepping outside um, so this means that there is a character who feels as if they've been trapped um, and they feel like it's time that they are stepping outside of their comfort zone or stepping outside of their relationship or stepping outside of anything that is stopping them okay so that is how it feels now that can be responsibilities for some it can be relationship to another um, sometimes it doesn't mean to say someone's just about to cheat um, it doesn't mean that it can sometimes mean you know when was the last time you went out with the girls or went out with the lads when was the last time that you went on a shopping spree you know when was the last time you did anything that was kind of like sociable you know maybe you've been stuck for a long time so that is indicating that you won't be okay that you're going to be breaking free so okay so i'm just going to tune in to taurus right now here we go okay all right so a bit of frustration is going on i would say um around the beginning of the week now i've got somebody who is going to be ranting about their um they're ranting about their um spirit guides okay it's like oh you've left me in the lurch you haven't done what you pr promised you know why haven't you you know um made me feel better why haven't you sorted out um this problem or this problem and you know sometimes it's okay actually um it's okay to rant you know because we're we're here front house okay aren't we we're here front house and um we have to cop all the stuff i've got my braces we have to have to cop all of the stuff that's going on okay um in our lives spiritually you know we're trying our hardest to live the best best life we can and to be positive and to keep our vibrations high and everything else and then it's like wallop there's another problem and wallop there's another problem and it's like you know come on guys um so sometimes i mean um i've done a an interview with danny henderson uh, i don't know if anybody's heard of danny henderson lovely lady uh, well worth um tuning in to to her channel for sure, absolutely. Um, so anyway, we did um, we did one about sacking our guides. Uh, Greg and I have spoken about it as well. I said that we have before. We don't have to sack them permanently, um, but there might be something to do with, you know, come on, you haven't been looking after me. This isn't fair. Um, sort it out. Sort it out. This is not on. Um, and uh, yeah, so give them a shake up sometimes. Um, later on, they'll come back and go. Have you, have you calmed down now? Can we come back? Is that okay again? Um, so yeah, they, it doesn't always have to be permanent. But um, yeah, if um, if you feel as if you're not being protected enough, if you feel as if you're not, you know, you're asking for financial help, you're asking for emotional help, um, and nothing is coming, then sometimes kick them up the bum. Um, because we've got this kind of anger or frustration we've got the hierophant card which is about your spiritual team okay and then you've got the world card so with to me that all means um it's okay to um to shake things up okay um and so by the middle of the week the middle of the week um your doorkeeper will never go okay your doorkeeper is your doorkeeper um so the difference between a spirit guide and a doorkeeper is um your doorkeeper is like a bouncer okay this bouncer if you have um got it in your heart and in your head i only want to work with the light side i want nothing to do with the dark side that's me and that's most of the spiritual people around um but there might be somebody who is you know just i don't know perhaps i'll dabble in it i don't know okay in which case your spirit guide will let you they will um your spirit has to let you so um so what happens with that is the doorkeeper is then a little bit more lax but if you're adamant that you only want to work with your the light side then your doorkeeper will be firm and won't allow it in so when you say your guide you're giving them a shake up doesn't mean to say you're going to be left in the lurch without any protection is what i'm saying to you they will always 
be protected, okay? Um, spirit guides are people that you've known in the past, past lives, um, maybe soul family groups, um, so yeah. Okay, so by the middle of the week, middle of the week, there's a somebody who is, um, if anybody is buying a house, look out for somebody acting sneaky, okay, is trying to get something in a sneaky way okay and it's like oh i don't think that's right you shouldn't have done that or you know so watch that someone's not doing something wrong and or they're not being fair they're not playing fair okay because i can hear somebody saying um that i'm i'm angry or you know that's not on okay now i want to i want to see if there is another timeline to that now i've told you um to look out for that sometimes we can change it Sometimes we can't, sometimes we can. Okay, let's have a look and see if we've got a higher timeline um, available for Taurus, middle of the week. Oh yeah, we do, we do. We've got boundaries, we've got dealing with it and we've got blocking. Okay, so you can block this, whoever this, asshole is who's trying to cause you problems um if you are you know moving or changing homes um if it's to do with your security that sort of thing um because you have counteracted it because you've upped your security because you've kind of like looked at things in a different way and made sure um that you knew what was going on and visualized it being all clear you have changed your timeline so yeah not to worry about that okay so that's a good thing okay so the end of this next week um end of next week um i feel that you are actually it's like going up a level spiritually um and this is going to be directly through um your spirit guides okay now if anybody is into the galactic side of things um look out for the blue people the blue um you know the blue galactic friends okay and um, so i know that people might think that is crazy if people are watching this but we are all connected to a higher realm we're connected to you know other worlds as well as um this one I did a reading and this lady said, and she spoke of, um, what did she say? She said um, about, um, you know, that she's been having dreams about spiritual blue beings. And there's about, I don't know, five different cards in this particular deck um, that have people with blue face. I've never even noticed it. I just saw it as being just, um, just a color vised thing over you know that person but you know that was one of them and um, the high priestess which is all about wisdom it's about you know secrets and inner knowledge and you know and that all coming out so you know look out for information that's coming to you and um, that is a little bit out there okay that's all i'm going to say a little bit out there so yeah it's going to be quite an exciting week very full but you do have the world cards i'm going to say that things have the potential of working out very well for you okay taurus so hang on in there let's have a look at the inner child card for you here we are mother goose okay mother goose which is the equivalent of the empress empress is to do with things coming to fruition things coming to um abundance and uh, the goose that laid the golden eggs okay so um any investments that you're thinking of yes go for it but double check the paperwork double check everything before you go about any paperwork or permanent things okay but uh, it is a good time is a good time to um to achieve what it is that you want okay so um there you go that's what i see for our lovely taurians okay so this is actually the next day so if you're wondering kind of the lighting's different or things like that i've tried to do 
<laughs> everything else the same um but anyway yes a pain got too much for me so i had to continue the next day so here we are so we're going to go straight on to virgo okay so let's have a look and see what we're getting with virgos okay so emotionally let's have a look and see what what is the emotional lessons for this week for virgos okay so the higher mind okay so this is about kind of trusting in your higher self um sometimes we kind of ignore that sometimes we we go into this um this feeling of you know um i know i, I shouldn't do this or you know i'm trying to make sense of what i'm feeling you know and sometimes we we don't see the signs when actually our higher self or our body is trying to tell us something um so i feel they're asking you to actually take notice take notice of those gut feelings take notice if it feels right or wrong to do a certain thing okay it's really really important um is you know to to align yourself with with your higher self um now what um in a child card do we have okay oh the cards just flew out so all right so we've got alice in wonderland okay so um once again does it feel like a crazy situation you're in do you feel as if you want to get off the roundabout you've had enough of things going on and on you know round and round and round we go um yeah it feels as if there's a lesson that needs to be learned look at the book there the book to me says you know this is a, a very interesting chapter in your book of of life um but i feel that you know maybe maybe it's time to kind of pause and take a breath um before you actually um go on um with the same old same old okay so definitely i feel as if they're looking for changes okay um in your life okay so here we go for what the cards say for you right so they're, they're indicating that you're needing to look after yourself that you're needing um to put yourself in like um a safety jacket okay um, things are going to be changing in your life. Things are going to be moving forward. Um, but for now, you might not be ready just yet to, to start the process. So this is about kind of waiting, waiting for that right moment, um, but knowing it's coming. OK, so this is like making yourself feel stronger. You know, um, there's somebody out there who is um, in a difficult situation. And I also feel as if this person is um, is going through um i feel some sort of um scary it's like i feel scared and i feel as if i've got to get out of this um situation i'm in um but i can't go yet i can't leave this situation yet so that's like putting some money aside um getting prepared you know having a a plan of action um so yeah watch out for that okay um, of either somebody going through this process of, you know, trying to get out of their situation, not being happy with the situation. Um, at this moment in time, it's like just pending and waiting, thinking outside the box, really. OK, um, I can see some tears. I can see some emotions also coming up next week. Um, feeling as if my emotions are very childlike and I can't control my emotions. I can't control my, my tears. Um, there is this um, to do with your home um, situation. It's like um, needing kind of the wisdom to know when to, um, when to stay home and when to go out, when to, to leave the home and when to stay. And um and this could be also somebody who's thinking of selling their property and not really knowing whether um you know the time to move is now or in the in the 
very near future. Um, it's like, you know, wisdom, I feel, is, is needed. Um, you are projecting yourself to the future. So you are making those solid plans in place. Uh, Virgos like to plan. OK, so it feels as if, right, first of all, we need to do this and then we need to do this and then we need to do that. And so all in all, it's like very um, controlled um, and very kind of um, methodical. OK, um, yeah. And then comes the move. You know, we've got the chariot, which is which is moving forward. This uh, the chariot. Um, if you have a look, it's got the black and white horses. Um, and this to me says I've got to take charge of the reins um, to go in this direction. Um, you know, it's not the right time for me to veer off um, off my pathway because I've made a plan. I'm sticking to it. Um, so it's like, yeah, very difficult decision is being made and implemented. Um, but it will start out in the beginning of the week preparing, middle of the week getting fine tuned, and then the end of the week doing something about it or nearly getting ready to do that kind of in the very near future there. OK, um, there is a bit of a concern about money and finances and security. Um, but I feel that with that careful planning, that will all come about and be fine. OK, so there, that's what I see for Virgos. I know that sounds a little crazy, um, but uh, yeah, there's a, a lot going on. OK, a lot going on with that. OK, so there you go. That's Virgos for you. Right, so this is this is Capricorns. Okay, so Capricorns, I'm going to use the inner child card first. Okay, little red cap. Okay, so this is about um, you know being realistic. I feel about you know your protection, being realistic about, you know, not putting yourself in a tricky or risky situation. Um, because as you can see, it's like, you know, most of the time there's nothing to worry about. Everything seems to be um, fine. There is a lot of scaremongering around us at the moment with, you know, um, sometimes it's like, uh, you know, we used to get our news from the TV. Now we don't. Now we get our news from youtube and that's not regulated okay um but i suppose it's more truthful than you would get on the, in the media that's for sure um but there are people who over exaggerate things there are people who are trying to it's like called clickbait um so just be prepared and see what it is that you feel always go into your heart space go into what feels right to you okay um, this is going to be one of those times this week um, is going to be, you know, what do I feel? You know, is this the truth? OK. And so, you know, and be aware of people that you can't trust, people that in your gut feeling, you know, this doesn't feel as if it's um, trustworthy. OK, so, um, you know, it's also take a leap of faith. Sometimes trusting yourself is taking that leap of faith. OK, so let's see what the cards have to say um, about Capricorns. Okay. Okay, so most of the time you are feeling very centered. You're feeling very much in control. Um, it feels as though, you know, you're, you've made the right decisions in life. Um, you are prepared to make changes that is needed uh, for your future. I've got um, lots of ideas coming up about your future linked with your uh, finances, linked with work, um, changes with work. Um, now, if you are not working, then this would be to do with money, to do with security, to do with projects, maybe at home. Um, but there is organisation regarding that. Um, You've had to come to that realization that you do deserve um, more than you get. OK, and so this might actually um, start to um, push out there into the universe, meaning um, other people might see you kind of being a bit more assertive. Um, other people might see you kind of standing up for yourself or standing up for others that can't stand up for themselves. 
Um, but this is a good thing, okay? Sometimes we need to take authority measures, okay? So that other people um, don't take advantage of us or don't continue to take advantage of us. But these ideas are coming thick and fast, so make sure you write them down. Make sure that you write notes, okay? It's really important, okay, that you don't forget these. There's a rush of love energy coming in in the middle of the week for Capricorns. This to me just says, um, you know, when you're looking at your family or you're looking at something, you know, um, on a love vibration, you know, you're thinking, well, the world isn't that bad. Everything is good. You know, I'm happy. You know, we were, you know, we're, we're in a we're in a situation where you know, there is so much kind of pressure and doom and gloom happening. And sometimes we need to um, take notice and kind of just stop and enjoy what's actually around us. Um, and so I feel this is going to be one of those times. Um, when was the last time you walked in nature? When was the right time you um, even sat in a park, even if it's in your car um, and you looked at the beauty around you, you know, um, it just feels as if there's a need to um, to think about the good things in life. OK, and I'm seeing family celebrations. I'm seeing get togethers um, or friendship get togethers. Um, and it can also be maybe an online presence um, that you're going through. So maybe connecting with people online, finding an online soul group. Um, and I really highly recommend that you find that. Um, you know, there's a lot of people out there who are scattered everywhere. And um, because they're scattered everywhere, they're actually not um, necessarily um, feeling aligned with anyone around them you know and so that therefore you know if you've not got somebody who's maybe open and aware okay of what the situation is in our lives then sometimes we have to um go forward into the online uh, presence and uh, it's not the same but it is better than nothing that's for sure and um, so yeah try and find that group that uh, resonates with you um, there is some legal or official documents coming up for uh, Capricorns this week. Um, and this feels like it's finding out where you, what you deserve or how you're going to get what you deserve. OK, there seems to be a lot of um, um, organisation, OK, about your future and what you're going to do next regarding that. Now, that can be to do with maybe a possibility of um, a new job or opportunity uh, linked with work. Um, sometimes that can be linked with a home, okay? And I feel as if I've um, I've got to get past the obstacle, and that therefore I need to know where I stand. Or I need to know what my rights are. Um, taking charge of the situation is exactly what is needed, um, and standing up for yourself and saying, "No, I know what I deserve, and I know what I'm what I'm entitled to." Okay, so it's going to be a little bit of a kind of like a um, putting it out there and being very much kind of like, you know, uh, grounded in what it is that you believe. OK, so, yeah, um, that's what I see there. So let's have a look and, and see what we have emotionally. OK, so emotionally, the lesson that Capricorns are having is the vision. OK, so this is the vision card. OK, um, Follow your dreams. This is about you. This is about your turn. This isn't about someone else taking um, taking away your dreams or, you know, um, riding over your dreams uh, for their own dreams. OK, so, you know, sometimes we do, um, you know, push everybody else forward while we hold back uh, what it is that we want and desire. And um, this is definitely a time of um um, not allowing that to happen um, and being very, very forward planning on your own journey. Um, make those, um, you know, what is it that you can see yourself doing um, or achieving maybe in six months or a year? And then um, create the stepping stones that you need to do in order. So the first thing I need to do is this. Then I need to do that. And then I need to do this and then that. And then I've got it. OK, so create those stepping stones. 
is what they're saying and follow those dreams um it is your time to follow those dreams okay it's not the time for everybody else um to um step over you okay um on their way to their their truth okay so there you go that's what i get for capricorns okay so this is leo okay um so leo's 22nd through to the 28th of april okay so um we're gonna see what the inner child cards have to say for now let's have a look all right so oh peter pan okay so is it time that you you need to grow up or do you refuse to grow up you know what is going on it's quite apt for leos because leos they do like to um have fun they like to know where the action is uh, they don't really like peter pan energy okay for sure um so yeah this is a, a decision time about you know maybe you've got to you've been asked to commit to something you've been asked to make a decision you've been asked to to ground yourself whereas you haven't done before you know or you find it difficult maybe um to to ground yourself um you know something's going on here where you're being asked to kind of man up uh, so to speak or woman up whichever um so let's have a look and see um what else they want to tell you okay so that's the one okay starting off with the sun okay the sun is one of the best cards in the deck and um, this means happiness it means joy it means um elation it means it's good very good card um, the sun and the world yeah if you get those cards um it means that life is going good or just about to lift up um, and go in the right direction for you um prince of swords is a, a sarcastic person somebody who is um they're not taking things very seriously um i can see that there is um you know somebody is is wanting to be playful like you know i mean that that goes with the peter pan energy as well um so yeah you're you're in conflict um especially the beginning of the week you're in conflict with um should i do what is asked of me or should i go with what i want to do um emotionally i can see there is a a strong feeling of letting go walking away from someone or something um it's like uh, you know something is telling you that uh, things aren't um, as they seem or you know maybe you're needing to kind of look into things in more detail maybe you don't know enough information um, before you make that decision um, there is somebody at the moment um, you know when we go into the middle of the week um, there is it's like I, I'm not talking to them we're not talking and we're not communicating um i'm feeling very um angry or agitated by this you know maybe they've made you angry or you've made them angry or both of you are angry um some sort of fallout some sort of um you know it, it's like a, not being happy with each other um absolutely um this to me just says you know time is a healer okay um but there seems to be something that needs to happen quickly um and uh, you're not feeling as if you can make a, a quick decision especially at the middle of the the week um so you know i feel um hitting the pause button is what you're gonna be doing regarding making um these commitments and changes okay sometimes the universe makes this happen um and gives you that extra time purely because um it's saying you know are you sure are you sure that's what you want to do you know maybe you want to do this or maybe you want to do that um you know your higher self actually um needs more time to to um discuss it okay so um okay new keys opening new doors um new opportunities by the end of the week um everything seems to be a lot clearer you seem to be more focused you seem to be more um 
in the right frame of mind to make decisions. It's like you've um, you've listened to your higher self, you've li listened to your spirit guides or your loved ones in the spirit world. Um, they have been able to talk to you. They have been able to give you the, the help that you've needed. The book is now open to you. This is the secrets uh, card, High Priestess can be linked with secrets or you know the universe will only tell you the truth or tell you what's going on um at the exact right time well that's it so confusion through the week but by the end of the week i feel everything clearer and you'll know what to do now for some of you that will be to do with a work situation for others of you that might be to do with um love life emotions or family um sometimes friendships um, so, yeah, because I'm reading for the collective, I can't be precise um, because obviously, you know, if I was reading for one person, I would be able to be more precise. OK, so, yes, if, if you can hang on till the end of the week before you make any big decisions, I think that, that would be very helpful to you. OK, let's have a look and see what the emotional card is. That will be interesting. Okay, because it's a very emotional week. Okay, follow your heart space. Okay, so this is the true love card. So you know, especially for for one or um, one of you, there is um, a, a feeling of commitment. Um, there is somebody who's pressuring you for commitment. Okay, um, to maybe you know choose that person or maybe move in together or maybe you know buy a dog whatever it is um there is a need for that commitment energy okay and um what do you do about that okay um you know follow your heart is what they're saying follow your heart so there you go um that is leo's reading okay Okay, so this is Sagittarius now. Okay, Sagittarius. Um, so after this, we have Aries. Um, then we have the last three signs, which is air signs, which is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Okay, so um, let's see what Sagittarius is going to do. Okay, this week. Okay, tuning in now. Okay, so um, looking ahead, okay, this is links with abroad, overseas, um, connections, maybe new connections with overseas, um, meeting somebody who perhaps has like um, 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 a, a background that says, you know, that they are not originally from the country that you're in. Um, it can be that you are deciding to maybe travel or there's going to be some discussions or talks about travel. Um, the Wheel of Fortune comes up and it says, you know, things are not going to stay the same. Um, there is a lot of changes in your life at, at this time. Now, um, you are trying to get used to this and trying to, you know, make sense of what this um, means to you. Um, I don't feel very sad about it. I just feel as if it's like just changes. Um, but then I've also got this person with a sharp tongue, this person who is very adamant. And I feel as if they are talking at you rather than to you. Um, they're trying to um, dismiss your feelings and override your feelings with theirs. Um, and this isn't um, something that is um, easy or helpful, okay, this person, um, because they are overreacting, okay, with um, their own dominance, okay. So let's have a look and see what the middle um, of the week is like. Well, you do have the sun card. So like I've said before, the sun card is where things are happier or better than they were, okay. Um, everything seems to be um, good, okay? Um, so, yeah, it's like the highlight of, um, of good energy. Um, there's somebody I feel as if um, I'm picking up on a sarcasm, okay, around this, dealing with this situation um, from a sarcastic point of view, not really taking things um, seriously, um, you know, laughing things off, okay? 
And I feel that this there's um, either you're doing this to them or they're doing it to you. Um, but it's like, um, you know, I'm going to let go of my emotions. I'm not going to bother um, with uh, with your feelings because your feelings don't matter to me. Um, and so that's not a nice thing to do. That's not a nice feeling to be put um, or brushed aside, okay, when our feelings need to be heard. And so there's a bit of a dismissive energy going on when you're trying to either pull your heart out or you're trying to make some plans for the future. Um, so those plans, like I said, could be going abroad, living abroad, or it could be holidays, okay? It can be linked with a person who has, um, you know, a different background to you. But I do feel as if, you know, that that sun energy is there and that sun energy is saying, you know, sometimes look at the bright side of a situation and try not to get too maybe um, involved in that, um, that sometimes we kind of need to um, ground ourselves, okay, and... Um, you know, if someone's having that bad behavior, let them have their bad behavior, okay? Because um, you can't do anything about that, okay? Um, they are going to act the way they're going to act, okay? So let's have a look at the end of the week. Now, by the end of the week, end of the week, someone's offering you some keys. Um, these keys can be metaphorically speaking, uh, and these keys can sometimes be... Um, you know, somebody who is given an opportunity um, that is um, very shocking, okay, and out of the blue. It's like, um, you know, keys to open new doors. Um, emotionally, there seems to be a little bit of isolation here. So it's like I'm I'm kind of going within myself to see whether or not this is the good, this is a good idea. Um, going within yourself to see if maybe, um, you know, there is an alternate um choice you know what what are the choices um in my life at this time um and so yeah you you are really weighing weighing the odds up but massive changes nonetheless okay Sagittarius okay and uh you know trying to kind of weigh up the pros and the cons before you make um that decision now there's always a, a common theme that runs through all the astrology readings every week every week there's something and it's a different one every week now this one is saying um it's about travel or it's about kind of other countries okay and it is about decision making okay making choices and making decisions and um that is going to be very interesting um the way that this kind of unfolds itself okay um now i want to say that there is somebody who has been waiting patiently to move um and i feel that there has been um aggravation there has been annoyance there's been frustrations for sure um and i've had to isolate my emotions that's what it makes me feel um before any of this gets sorted out but i would say um hang on in there really just hang on in there um, because things will start to make more sense by the end of the week okay so the inner child card um that we have is this one which is Beauty and the Beast. Okay, so Beauty and the Beast is saying, you know, sometimes we have to, um, you know, who is being the beauty and who is being the beast? Sometimes it's not actually obvious, okay? Um, you know, sometimes there's a really, um, really brilliant opportunity, um, but sometimes we're not seeing it as an opportunity. Sometimes we're seeing it as, you know, hassle, um, sometimes we're seeing it as, um, you know, something that's going to disrupt our lives in, for the bad. Um, you know, some it's making you, um, you know, really rethink things. OK, um, but like I said, by the end of the week, new opportunities come. Um, and so this may be this ugly situation um, will result in things becoming easier for you in the long run. But it might not necessarily makes sense okay to you um in the beginning so let's have a look at the emotional cards for sagittarius that is the one okay trust okay if you can trust if you can trust what you're feeling what your gut feeling is um then 
and I feel that this will become smoother. It will be a lot easier if you kind of go, how does this make me feel? Um, and again, that's one of the common themes that is running through, okay, these readings, okay? The common theme is trusting your gut feeling and making decisions, okay? So there you go, that is for Sagittarius. Right, so this is Aries, okay. 22nd through to the 28th of April. Okay, so giving the cards a good shuffle, we're gonna see what's, uh, what's happening. My grandson's out there making a pizza. <laughs> so, okay, let's have a look. I'm just tuning in now. Right, so the beginning of the week, um, beginning of the week, there's going to be a, um, more of a download coming to you spiritually. Um, so listen out for kind of messages that are from your higher self, your gut feeling. Um, um, I can see that uh, there's since the eclipse, everybody's been feeling like that. Everyone's been feeling more kind of alive. Everyone's been feeling more um you know, everything seems to be making more sense to me. I can, I can feel what needs to happen, um, or I can feel what doesn't need to happen. So, either way, you know, there's this strong, strong energy, um, and um, it does make me feel like, um, you know, we're all going to be going through this, these decisions and making it, uh, making a choice. Um, and I, I can, I can hear my guide saying, it's time to pick a side. Um, it's time to pick a side between light and dark. You know, this isn't a time to sit back and um, and not step up to the mark. Um, and so sometimes, you know, it might feel like, well, you know, I don't want to make a stand or I don't want to rock the boat or, you know, you know, my family aren't going to believe, you know, the truth. Not now. Um, so but sometimes it's like, you know, but as long as you pick your side, then that's the way it is. So, yeah, it just feels like there's a spiritual awakening, um, you know, on overdrive going on. OK, and it's come up for um, all of the birth signs so far. Um, OK, so this is about kind of um, I'm seeing movement or travel plans and they're showing me a motorway in like a fast track um, motorway and um, I'm seeing training or learning new skills, maybe stepping on new ground and maybe going somewhere that is, um, you know, going to teach you something. Um, you know, on your travels, it's going to feel very um, different, very different to um, to your normal everyday life, for sure. There seems to be a big change um, happening. Um, now, the, the King of Swords is saying that you're going to have to dissect things. You're going to have to weigh up the pros and the cons before you make this trip um, in this journey. Um, you know, and I feel that a lot of people, this will be um, physical. It will be a physical um, movement and, and a travel. Um, but for others of you, it will be metaphorically speaking. Um, meaning I'm going in this direction. No one can stop me um, because I've made my mind up. OK, um, but definitely um, seeking new information, um, you know, resulting in um, more of an awakened mind. Um, you've got the two of pentacles, which is, you know, stepping forward. Um, sometimes there is uh, something that triggers this kind of um, different mindset. OK. Um, for there is somebody out there who is uh, wanting to start um, that new job and they're going through training or learning the new skills related to that job and the job changes. Um, yeah, it is time um, to dissect and, and you know, uh, weigh up the pros and the cons regarding your choices um, for sure. Um, the end of the week. Now, the end of the week, um, there is um, somebody, um, I'm seeing somebody who is rerouting, moving from one area to another and feeling very um, out of sorts, very imbalanced, okay? 
um, and I'm feeling a bit tormented by this. There seems to be a lot of emotional upset. Um, there is um, kind of an explosion of, uh, of emotions as well, okay? And maybe, you know, for some of you, there's an argument. Um, and um, I don't usually like giving these cards, these, these, information usually I like to keep it fluffy but I I can't like somebody's crown's been knocked off you're looking at this person um with a different set of eyes like you don't fully trust them anymore okay you thought that they were one person and they've turned out to be another okay maybe someone is seeing that from you Maybe they put you on a pedestal and now they're realizing that, you know, you have different sides to you or you've made different choices. Um, so, yeah, the crown has been knocked off. We do have the tower card um, at the end of the week for Aries. But we do have the rerouting card, which means that sometimes we have to go in a totally different direction um, in order to find where we are and what we want. But, yes, it's going to take its toll emotionally. Um, because we've got that, um, you know, uh, it's like a tormented feeling emotionally where, um, you know, something's got to change, but this isn't easy for me um, to, to have that change come in. So, yeah, let's have a look and see what the inner child card is, okay? Okay, so the inner child card wishing upon a star okay so this is the star card and um time to follow your dreams time to follow um what you feel you need okay so can you see the common theme that's running through all of these cards this week it is about you know not necessarily you know being selfish is is sometimes a harsh uh words to say it's like um you know, you've got to be selfish. It's like you don't need to fall out with people in order to be selfish. Sometimes you just have to say, you know, hold on a minute. I do deserve as well. Uh, and maybe it is time for me to step up and actually say, you know, this is my dreams. This is what I want. OK, so um, it may rock the boat a little bit. And I feel at the end of the week, there's going to be a clear understanding that um, the decisions that are being made um, are not. Uh, making everybody happy for sure um so let's have a look at the emotional cards let's have a look um so yeah so this is kind of somebody blocking you out you can see the barrier here um but there's a key under the door there which means that this may be a temporary block not necessarily a full block okay so this could be somebody around you just needs some time um maybe you're needing some time and you're the one that is you know staying in your safety zone here um and maybe this person is going to be given some hope that it's not a permanent block okay but uh, yeah there's a lot of uh, deep emotions i'm seeing here um for sure for aries okay but you know, at the end of the day, change is needed all round. Okay, um, it is just something that is happening, and um, like I said, it's time to pick a side um, in this uh, spiritual war that's going on. It's time to pick a side. Do you want the light or the dark? Um, and that is that is how it is. Okay, so that is for Aries. Okay, so this is Aquarius, 22nd through to the 28th. Oh, let me record this because I have Aquarians around me and I'd like to send them their little reading. Okay, so yeah, just to reiterate, um, Aquarius, 22nd through to the 28th of April, 2024. Okay, let's see what um, is going on with Aquarius. Okay, there is um, somebody around you is making you feel cornered, is putting you in a situation that you actually don't feel good about. Okay, um, you're having to um, defend yourself. You're also having to explain 
um, why you made certain decisions. Um, you're not impressed with that, okay? Um, it could be that someone else has made decisions and maybe you're the one that's putting pressure on them. I don't know ever which way round it is, okay? And for some people, it might be one way and for other people, it will be the other way round. Um, I'm seeing some plans, okay? And I, I feel as if I'm all organizing things for plans and changing things around, okay? This is all linked with my wishes. This is all linked with what I feel I want to do or what I deserve, okay? We've also got um, changes linked with, um, you know, our partnerships around us. So um, sometimes these changes and, you know, um, maybe fallouts or misunderstandings happen and it affects more than one person because people feel the need to take a side. They feel the need to kind of like stand up for one person or stand by another when sometimes if they just stayed neutral, it would be so much easier. Um, I'm seeing um, a character around who is very kind of reliable. You know where you are with them. And um, I'm seeing that this person may be the key to actually resolving this situation and making it easier and better. OK, because it feels like um you know, let's just um, draw a line and let's not kind of get too overexcited here. Um, you know, it's no need to fall out. There's no need to make us um, feel as if, um, you know, um, there's the communication lines have gone down. OK, it can be absolutely fine. And I do feel as if this is going to change the energy. Um, maybe you're the wise person who's stepping in with other people around you, which you're seeing kind of um, falling out or you know, um, you know, not communicating well. I'm seeing a need to be independent, a need to kind of like just do your thing, just um, be in your own mind, really, um, and not be kind of manipulated, I feel, by other people. It's very, very important at this particular time. Um, there is somebody new that is coming in, and I feel as if they, that person is bringing in... Um, I feel maybe not so great energies. Um, this new person has kind of, you know, I don't, I, it's like tipped the apple cart, tipped it over, okay, a bit. And um, I feel as if this outspoken energy, um, you know, is not needed. Okay, it's just not needed. So it feels as if, you know, perhaps close the ranks and um, get to the bottom of things and try not to allow other people too much rain in what is um, going on. I feel as if there's decisions that are being made that may affect other people. Um, but sometimes um, we have to make difficult decisions in our life. See, the theme is still running through um Aquarius as well so it difficult decisions are being made um I'm seeing some legal or official documents I'm seeing some signatures um and official stuff I feel as if I've got to get this um done um quicker rather than later so I feel as if there's a deadline energy with this paperwork with these documents with putting this in place okay um, this actual form or online form or document. So, yeah, um, short and sweet, but really powerful. Um, I feel it's going on, Aquarius. So the inner child card for you is the wizard, okay, which is the equivalent of, um, oh, I think he's the Hierophant, I believe, the Hierophant. So that is to do with spiritual teacher or spiritual wisdom, okay? Call upon your spirit guides, call upon other people around you who can then help you um, to make the right decisions. Now, there is a ring here. Now, um, you know, it, that's going to mean something to somebody probably. OK, this ring. All right. So is there somebody who is proposing or is there somebody who wants you to propose? Um, maybe that's what the difficulty is. Um, be aware of other people people blowing their top look we've also got the tower explosion there so um yeah it doesn't need to get that complicated is what they're trying to say okay emotionally now, emotionally expectations sometimes people have too high expectations 
for everyone else but themselves okay so it's like well you know i wouldn't do that or you shouldn't do that and this is not right and you know and it's like well um if only you shone that light of judgment back at yourself and maybe we could maybe talk or communicate better okay so i feel as if it's going to get that blunt okay um and i feel this is happening all over so i'm seeing a little i think i'm going to be busy next, next week with lots of people going oh my god the the, the shite has hit the fan <laughs> so um yeah um, there's a little bit of that but it's okay okay it's all okay you know things need to sometimes change and have a shake up um before things get better okay it just just does you know so anyway that's what i see for our aquarius okay gemini's this is your reading okay let's have a look and see what's going on with gemini's okay okay <laughs> see if the theme keeps running along because <laughs> it just seems to be the same theme that's run along i've never had it this strong before i've been doing these readings oh my goodness for years now um every week mainly every week and um i've never had this that it's just the same information for um that is is running parallel okay i'm not saying exactly the same because there are variations to it but there's just something that is um you know bizarre to me okay so like i said this is different all right this is different okay so the nine of cups nine of cups is about reuniting with someone from the past or reconnecting with old friends um um business partners um people maybe from a past life but there's definitely reconnection, a familiarity um, with somebody coming back in. I'm picking up on um, a very strong minded person. This person is very, very sure of themselves. If they say they're going in that direction, you better be sure that they're going to go in that direction and they're going to reach their target as well, because they are very, very mindful of, you know, exactly what they're doing. I can see that there is a bit of obstacles, okay, going on, okay, and these obstacles are things that need to be sorted out. Now, for some of you, those obstacles will be linked directly to that person from the past. Maybe you fell out with it, them in the past. Maybe there was an issue in the past, and maybe that is now moving forward um, and needing to be addressed in the in the now um but uh you know who is the person who is very determined and very sure of themselves because they're very prominent in your life or could it be an aspect of yourself at this particular uh time okay um now i'm seeing some travel or i'm seeing um well they're saying travel but they're also saying um stand up for yourself stand your ground so there is somebody close to you who is needed to um it's like um you know it's not a time to give in it's not a time to let someone else kind of walk all over you definitely not um the chariot is about kind of pick the direction that you need to go in and then go with it okay very very um important okay um for somebody there is um links with a new car and i feel as if there's been some issues with this new car um and that you are in your right or you're looking at what your rights are regarding this matter okay you're very very in tune with that um i can see that um you don't like causing a problem okay you don't like that but at the same time you know things have to be um you know sorted out you know if if somebody is at fault um then they need to stand up and be counted so you know it's going to be um a bit tricky um to um to to man up and and um and to admit something you know that is not right um rather than kind of just say oh i'll, I'll let it go don't worry about it um but yeah it, it you you can't do it um 
something inside you is saying, no, I deserve better results than I've had. Okay. Now, the end of uh, the week, um, the end of the week is, is uh, regarding um, <laughs> very much the other cards as well. We've got, um, so once again, we have that tower card come up again. Um, the tower card is linking to somebody who you respected um, hasn't pulled through. Um, now, this can be um, for people who have been um, believing one thing, okay, maybe something in politics or maybe something, um, you know, to do with, I don't know, um, you know, somebody in the music industry, like like the P. Diddy thing, um, you know, you believe them to be, you know, you respected them and then everything comes tumbling down. Well, do um, understand that there are going to be a lot more of those um, people that are linked with him going to be coming down with him okay so you know maybe that does answer what is going on uh, for all of us okay would be something global or something very much um public knowledge okay that would that would account for what is going on um but i'm just seeing that crown being knocked off and i feel as if it's like i'm i no longer respect that person um there is a little bit of um it's like i feel um, emotional and I feel um, worried about my emotions. Um, I feel as if I'm confused by how I'm feeling. Um, so, you know, it might throw you out in a big way, you know, bigger than you actually thought. Okay. Um, I'm seeing um, rerouting or feeling uprooted. You know, when you don't feel comfortable or settled in your home, um, or you don't feel comfortable or settled with your belief system or what it is that you um, have always been like. Um, so if you've always kind of like believed this is true um, and sworn that this is true and then all of a sudden something changes. Um, and uh, actually, no, that's not the case anymore. And I've now got to change my viewpoint that's going to be very similar to how this feels, okay, from what I'm seeing, yeah. So emotionally, what is going on with Geminis? Now emotionally, independence. Um, it's time to have an independent point of view to not maybe um, put somebody on that pedestal that maybe nobody really um, needs to be put on a pedestal. Maybe you and your own belief systems, you know, are all you need. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's just um, having an independent point of view. Um, very, very um, poignant um, for you, for sure. Okay, so this is the inner child card. And it is Rapunzel. Okay, this is the tower. So this, this is the same card as that. Okay, so this one is um, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. So this is, um, you know, Rapunzel only knew this person, you know, and and when she realizes she isn't the sort of, she she put her in the tower and uh, she isn't the, the good person that she says she is. And uh, here is the good person here the knight in shining armor who's going to come and rescue her so think about that the same way you know the respect has gone with somebody okay um so yeah quite apt isn't it okay so this is now the emotions let's have a look emotionally the dark story so this says that sometimes there is the book is open to you regarding um you know what is um the truth okay and sometimes that is a battle um so that is also telling you the same thing um that uh, you know that is a, there's a time of um change there's a time of disruption okay that is coming about okay and it is going to hit i feel you Personally, there'll be a personal thing, but there will also be a public thing as well, a global change that is going about for sure. So, yes, that's what I see. OK. All right. So that is our Gemini's. OK. 
Okay, <laughs> so this is Libra. This is the last of the astrology readings. Okay, so Libra 22nd through to the 28th of April 2024. And Greg always says this is the one that everybody's been waiting for. Uh, no, it's the one that Greg has been waiting for because he's a triple Libra. Um, it's also, I'm at, I'm at Libra rising. So, yeah, so, uh, but no, not everybody, love, not everybody. Okay, so let's have a look and see what is going on with Libras. Okay. Just going to tune in now. Okay, this is a time to do it. Get on with it, okay? Make a plan and stick to it. Don't back down is, is, is what the cards are saying. There's a lot of positive energy coming on. It's a lot of kind of excitement, I feel, around your spirit guides. Um, and I'm, what I'm seeing is you're on this kind of like, um, it's like you've been doing this treadmill kind of feeling, but now it's time you're sprinting, okay? And um, you've got the two of wands, which is plans, planning, um, and the sprint card, which is like, you know, there's nothing, um, there's nothing like the present time to actually get the jobs done that need to, it, it's the right energy. Um, and so, yeah, I can see, um, maybe there's some honesty, I feel as if there's um, some outspoken words that are being spoken about, I think it's been outspoken enough, Mr. Prescott. But anyway, um, there's outspoken words, I feel, um, and a need to get things cleared up, need to get things off your chest, okay? There's something going to be happening regarding the truth energy. Okay, so as we move on into the middle of the week for Libra, um, it, it feels as if um, financially it's a little bit nail-biting um, and um, it's time to um, get reassured that everything is going to be fine, okay? Everything is going to be good. Um, we have the progression um, forward. So, you know, if financially things have been bad in the past, um, there is a turnaround, um, and I'll show you the card so that you can see. So this is the worry of finances, and this is a card that crosses it, which says, oh, no, not anymore. Um, you know, um, you deserve to have things um, become better, become easier, okay? And this is all to do with that. Like I said, the positive energy is coming in, so it is time um, to go, go, go. It's time. Um, spirit are listening to you, spirit are pushing you forward. There's a lot of belief um, in you as a person. And so all you're needing to do is listen to your higher self, listen to your guides, um, go with those gut feelings, which is what we've had running alongside nearly all the readings, okay, um, you know, about that gut feeling, you know, um, listening to your inner self, listening to your higher self, listening listening to your guides, um, because all of them are singing the tune of, of you going forward, okay, um, so yeah, it's not a bad thing at all, it just feels as if, you know, the changes have been happening, um, and you're just following alongside those changes to make things more permanent, okay, so um, we have the um, moving or decorating or changes energy so don't be surprised if you're not talking about moving or you're not talking about some changes to do with your home or to do with your kind of living arrangements and where you are um eight of cups is about letting go letting go of the past and moving forward I feel that there is a good opportunity that is going to be arising um from um from this situation and uh, and you know what what that will will do is it will clearly show you that spirit have had this in mind for you for a long time. Spirit have kind of already organised this, and so you know when you see that last piece a jigsaw piece go in, and it like oh my goodness that makes so much sense now. No wonder that wasn't working, or no wonder this wasn't doing it, doing what it should do. No one, no wonder. Okay, and here it is okay so here it is um alongside um you know a lot of positivity okay so it is um a go 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 kind of feeling for sure 
Okay, so let's have a look at the emotional energy that is the emotional lesson that is going on here. Okay, let's have a look. It's this one. You know, this is how it has been feeling. It's been like something has been draining you. Something has been, you know, it's like I feel empty inside, you know. And then all of a sudden, you know, you then start to feel as if you are part of um, the bigger plan again. Okay. But feeling a bit adrift um, at certain points. Um, and, um, you know, sometimes we're, you know, we have to think what is our part that we are playing um, and we have to reinvent ourselves, readapt um, ourselves um, to what the universe needs now, okay, which is spiritual upliftment, is spiritual, um, it's like vibrations as high as possible. Um, it's so, so needed, okay. So um, the other thing I'm noticing about this is the arguing. You can see the two people arguing. And I'm seeing that that's, that represents the people there. The people have had too much of the arguing. They've had too much of the the backbiting, too much of the um, of the, this kind of feeling um, and feeling empty. Okay, they're needing something to feel fulfilled. They're needing something um, to um, hold on to in a positive way. Okay, so what is the inner child card here? Uh, yeah, follow the yellow brick road, Wizard of Oz. How apt is that? Okay, so the direction is, this is the direction. This is the right way to go. Um, you know, rally around and grab friends and people that you love and care for and um, um, encourage them to go on the right road forward. Okay, so how that is really, that, that sums it up for everybody. Um, you know, the, the silliness, the childlikeness, which I thought we needed with the inner child cards. Um, and that card just says, let's all follow the yellow brick road because it's all leading to a massively wonderful future. Um, you know, and this upliftment is so important, so important. And I'm excited. I hope you guys are getting excited too, because this change, no one can stop it. Nope, no one can stop it. But there are a few kind of um, shocked moments, I feel, um, that is going to be happening. All right. So, but hang on in there. Hang on in there. Okay. So, um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please share um, this video and please um, give it the thumbs up um, or the like button there. And um, please subscribe as well. Um, that would be amazing. And um, I'm I'm here if anybody wants a reading. Um, I have the mini readings as well. So we've got the little 20 minute readings. We've got the, the um, half an hour readings and we've got the hour readings and the two hour readings. So um, there is lots of uh, different options on the website there. So psychically.net. Anyway, take care and um, have a wonderful, wonderful week. Okay.